Atlas. Here's another one. Persona 4, dancing all night. Ah, welcome to the Velvet Room. Or as I should say, welcome back. <laughs> How did it feel to see a glimpse into their festival? That is not the end of the story, mind you. Though they rescued the four kidnapped girls, there were still others that they needed to express their feelings to. <laughs> a strange story, no? Even if they paid a heavy price for conveying their own feelings, it would gain them nothing. Or so it might seem to an outside observer. But for them, such thoughts never entered their minds. Now, why might that be? As I mentioned, nothing without meaning happens in this room. There may be some purpose underlying my decision to tell you about him. Well then, let's continue watching. Let us... Never telling you how I really feel. I'm going out for a moment. You stay here and finish working on your dance for the festival. Out? Wh where to? I have some business to attend to. Looks like there's someone I need to talk to after all. Business? But... I didn't know you had the temerity to speak against me, Nozomi. Uh, uh... If you can speak that way to me, there's no way you're frightened of other people. Okay. Wait, is that how that works? Huh? Ms. Ochimizu! Um, what do I do? Oh! Uh, an earthquake! Oh, what's going on? Arise, san Anyone? Chan and the others are here. Yoo-hoo, Sensei! Yo, no. man, you guys are fast. We were really trying to hustle, too. Huh, we can't let you win that easy. Though you did pretty good saving two of them yourselves. Okay, so is everyone all right? 
That was a pretty serious quake a second ago. It took us by surprise, but we're fine. Any idea what that was about? We don't really get it either. This place was already like this when we got here. The ground was still shaking. It just stopped a second ago, like it's saying, everything's ready now. Does that mean the quake happened because the scenery was being reshaped? <laughs> That's right. You see, this is a new stage I've prepared. Uh, that voice again! Ha! Huh. Too bad for you. We rescued all four of the girls you kidnapped. That's right! What are you hoping to do with this new stage of yours? It has nothing to do with you. I regret to tell you that none of you, even the four you rescued, are needed in this world anymore. What do you mean? Just as I said, I feel sorry for them, but you poisoned those girls against us, and they cast away their bombs. So I don't need them anymore. I'm only interested in those girls as everyone else knows them. I want an eternal bond without pain or suffering. Oh, when will it get through your thick skull? There ain't no such thing. You said this was a new stage that you prepared. Who are you planning on dragging in here this time? <laughs> I couldn't have done anything. There was someone who wished to connect with me, so I'm only granting them their wish. Don't be ridiculous! No one would want that! You don't believe me? Then why not ask for yourself? Here. Miss Ochimizu, what the? You want to connect with me. You want to bond. Isn't that right, Kyoka Ochimizu? Yes, that's right. What the heck is this? I have no reason to answer that. The girls are safe. Take them and go back to the real world at once. There's still time until the festival. Practice like death is awaiting you. No mistakes will be tolerated. Well, this isn't the time for that stuff. What do you think? Shadows! Yosuke couldn't get back! How unsightly. Get a grip on yourselves. Are you really so foolish? If you mean to appear on stage, then you'd best be aware that there are no worst-case scenarios in the world of professionals. You consider every possibility, and eliminate every one apart from what will work. And you pursue those at any cost. Ochi, what are you saying? This isn't showbiz we're talking about! Dude, you better not be thinking about giving yourself up to get us out of here. The hell with that! You got another thing coming if you think we'd go for that! He's right. We would never allow it. If you did that, and you would not be the only victim. The shadows here are the viewers of the LMB website, who were pulled into this world. What? For real? That's the first I've heard about that. No, it's true. We'll explain more later. Right now, we need to stop Miss Ochimizu. Even knowing this, are you willing to let those people succumb to this mess by your actions? Huh. How naive. I've already been informed. What? I'm used to disappointing the audience. It's impossible to satisfy them all anyway. Nothing is gained without suffering. You said as much. The first rule of business is to maximize gains while minimizing costs. Miss Ochimisu. You're trying to take this whole thing on alone. We're not okay with you sacrificing yourself. What you're saying means nothing to me. I'm telling you that this is how it should be, so drop it. I have nothing more to discuss with you all. <coughs> if you understand, then hurry up and get out of here. I'm sure Inoue can manage the rest. Chimizu, you little! <laughs> now then, I will promise with Miss Ochimizu to keep. I'll return you all to your world. Damn it! What do we do, partner?
Sorry, but we have to turn you down. There's no way we're going back without Miss Ochimizu and the others. Is that so? That's too bad. This was your chance to go back, too. Well then, do as you wish. The, the hell? It's taking this better than I thought. <laughs> but don't forget, this place is meant to connect with everyone. Come now, I'll let you all join us. Yeah, stupid Kanji! It's not being reasonable at all! What? How is that my fault? This would have happened either way. Still, we absolutely won't run from this. I must agree wholeheartedly. She didn't understand at all what we meant to convey. And we certainly won't yield to her twisted logic. Alright. Hey guys, leave this place to me. Don't worry about me. I got this. You guys need to move on. Yeah. What are you talking about? Even if we weren't worried about you, we can't go anywhere until we take these guys out. Oh yeah, uh, whatever. Don't worry about such trifles, little boy. Little boy? Risi chan bring up my song before anyone can stop me. Huh? Oh, okay. We can't let this little thing beat us after all. I mean, I know Mizu Chimizu might not want our help at all, but we can't give up just because of that. We've got to chase after Mizu Chimizu and make her understand. Chie. Here goes, Shadows. I'm gonna rock your faces with my kung fu dance! Play the music! Let's get it started now. Keep you on the path. Take your wrong turn.
Chie, I know you worked hard. <laughs> I'd say I definitely got through to him. <laughs> Being athletic is important, after all. You might make a good dancer, Chie-senpai. Hey, you see that? We'll never do what you want us to. Hell yeah! We're gonna say that Ochimizu chick too, you hear? Very well. I'll let you have this one. But I wonder if things will go quite the way you want. <laughs> I think it's gone again, but Ms. Ochimizu must be pretty far away by now. Yeah, what the hell's up with that Ochimizu chick? I can't believe she pulled a double cross like that. And after we worked so hard to get this far, not gonna lie, I'm shocked that nothing we've done has gotten through to her. We'll keep trying, no matter how many times it takes. All of us butted heads plenty of times before we came to understand each other. Don't you think we owe the same to Ms. Ochimizu, too? <laughs> Some bunch we are. See, that's the thing we were trying to express, and we managed to forget it ourselves. Yeah, it doesn't matter if we're dealing with shadows or Ms. Ochimizu. What we need to do doesn't change. I'm gonna do my best, too. We're gonna get Ochi to understand no matter what. Anyway, we should compare notes. Looks like we've learned some new things. Oh, right. You said that those shadows are the victims, right, Natokun? Right. But first, we should tell you what we found out. After that, we can hear what you've learned. Very well. The floor is yours, Senpai. What's wrong, Risa? Oh, nothing. I was just thinking that you really are still our leader, Senpai. Come on, let's get on with the powwow. When people watch the video on the site, their shadows get pulled into this world. It's still just speculation. But considering the evidence at hand, I see no reason to doubt it. I'm mostly surprised that voice isn't a ghost. We don't really know much about it. You know, this is kind of a shock for me. I knew about Yuko Asada too, but I never would have imagined those notes were hers. Does this mean the culprit is someone involved with the agency? Knew about the Konami and Kitchen Girls and knows a lot about Yuko-san? Is there anyone who fits that description at our agency? Risei, what about Mizo Chimizu? Any possibility that she might have known Yuko-san? Mizo Chimizu? Oh! There is something I heard from Anoe-san once. Before Mizo Chimizu went freelance, she used to be with Takara Productions. So it would make sense for Mizo Chimizu to know about Yuko-san! What are we saying here? I mean, it was just a few minutes ago that she... Mm-hmm. She was trying to sacrifice herself to get us home. That's it, then. Our first job is to catch up to Ms. Ochimizu and rescue her. Even if she's not the culprit, if she knew Yuku-san, she should be able to tell us something. Ochimisu! <gasps> you kids, what are you doing here? Sorry, but we all decided that we weren't gonna leave here by ourselves. Casualties would be minimal, but we don't intend to save ourselves by using others as stepping stones. Besides, there's something we need to ask you. It's about Yuko Osada. What foolish children. You and Yuko alike. So you do know something. The hell are you hiding? I know you're there. Our deal was clear. Return them to the real world at once. Oh, sorry, but I can't do that. Didn't I tell you before? The only ones who can enter this world are those who wish to do so. Only those who wish to? Ugh. It's pointless to follow me. Head back now while you still can. Mizuchimizu! Oh, 
Oh, sheesh! These guys again? Oh, are they gonna keep getting in our way? You still don't get it. No matter how much you struggle, it's all useless. There's no need for these struggles now. All you have to do is accept my bond, or leave this place. Doesn't that sound nice? Whichever one you choose, you won't have to suffer anymore. Don't be ridiculous! There's no way we choose either of those! That's right! We won't leave anyone behind! Oh, poor children. Very well then, I'll make the choice for you. Come now, won't you connect with us? So you're determined not to let us through, huh? Fine. We're determined not to back down, so there! But these shadows are the hearts of the LMB audience, aren't they? Thinking about it that way makes this harder to do. No. That's exactly why we need to express ourselves to them. If these shadows are trapped by the bond that voice talked about, then they need to see for themselves that this bond isn't right. Sensei's right! This is perfect as practice for that Love Meets Bonds Festival. Leave this to Teddy, Prince of the Dance. It's time for some sad Teddy Night Fever. Well said, Teddy. This is your time to shine. All right, Teddy, go get him! Such passionate cheers from the ladies. I'm feeling the heat now. And that being said, bring on the cup step! Let's get it started now. We are living the lives. Father, with so much information.
turn in the spotlight. Not bad at all. That was a great dance, Teddy. Thank you very much, everyone. I'm really glad you all understood. record with that we're not pitiful it's you we pity for believing this is anything like a true bond pity me but i'm perfectly happy everyone yearns for me after all that's what happiness is <laughs> you just don't have the joys of truly abandoning yourself learn one important thing from what the voice said. We did? You mean about how people enter this world? That voice said that the only ones who can come here are those who want to. Indeed. And I've deduced something crucial from that fact. Like? I've actually been wondering about this the whole time. When we first came to this world, that voice half forced us out. Yet when we returned to save the girls of Kahneman Kitchen, the voice never attempted to drive us away. This is despite how inconvenient it would be for that voice's plans if we had rescued all four of the girls. You know, it's true. If our being here could have messed up its plans, then you'd think all it would have had to do is force us out again. Yes, from that perspective, I hesitate to believe that what the voice said was untrue. Actually, there's one mystery left regarding this point. Th there is? You mean the conditions for falling into the midnight stage, right? Precisely. That's what the victims who found themselves here had in common. We just couldn't pinpoint it until now. But isn't that just how the people who watched that video on the site got here? Yes, that's the first condition. But some victims fell into a coma, and some didn't. Even when they were watching the video side by side. Until now, I couldn't determine what separated the two. Huh, I see your point. That is pretty weird. I mean, leaving aside Risei and the Kanamine Kitchen girls who got brought here to perform, it doesn't make sense that some fell in while others didn't if they watched the video under the same conditions. Indeed, but everything makes sense now. The victims were all people who wished to enter this world. Whoa! Are you serious? What are you saying, Naoto-kun? There's no way anyone would want that for themselves! I see. You're talking about the bond that voice spoke of. Yes. I doubt that the desire needed to enter this world is to fall into the midnight stage. Rather, it's the people who harbor a desire for bonds without pain the voice spoke of, somewhere in their hearts. So the ones who wanted this fake-ass bond fall into this place. Ah! That's why when we convey to the shadows about this not being a real bond, those ribbony things come whooshing off, and they sparkle away back to where they belong. I think I can understand how they feel. We were all like that once. If I hadn't met all of you, I wouldn't have been able to show anyone my true self. It's normal to want to be accepted, while still being afraid of getting hurt. Yeah. It's like my inner self is so uncool that I wouldn't want anyone else to see it. Mm, well, your outer self isn't cool either, though. Was that seriously necessary? Can't you see what I'm getting at? All right, we should get going. We can't waste too much time. We have to express our feelings to Mizo Chimizu and bring her back with us no matter what. She knew about Yuko-san just like we thought. If she can tell us more, then we might be able to figure out who that voice really is. What is this place? It's like a feudal lord's house from some samurai movie. <gasps> Should I be taking off my shoes? I seriously don't think that's where we are. And Teddy, you don't even wear shoes. 
Sumomu-san's dollhouse, Tamami-san's circus, Nozomi-san's castle, and Tomoe-san's cityscape, piecing together what we've discovered. It seems clear that the landscape here reflects the person everyone wishes them to be, which means... Look! Over there! It's Mizuchimizu! Tell me one thing. Are you Yuko Asada? Well, who knows? I'm sure you can guess the answer to that, Mizuchimizu. Hmm. I see. Mizuchimizu! Damn it, lady! I killed someone, you know. Th that was out of the blue? I was young then. I believed in things like doing your best and living honestly, just the way you do now. Is this about Yuko Osada? That's right. I was her manager. Yuko Osada. I still clearly remember the anxiety in her face when we first met. Wow. Her manager? You must have known her well then. Yes, I remember Yuko well. She was uniquely talentless among the innumerable crowd of idols. How could you say that? It's the truth. She was immature as a performer. No better than an amateur. Just like you. How dare you! Even so, she and I worked hard. I remember how she'd always say, I want to convey to everyone how important it is to hang in there. I did everything I could to sell Yuko's name and grant her wish. I thought that if her fans took even slight encouragement from her songs, it would be worth it in the end. Miss Ochimizu. She was a hit. We both cried with joy over her success. So many fans showed up at her meet and greets that Yuko was exhausted by the end. And her concerts always sold out. Very quickly, Yuko rose to become a top idol. But around the time that song, Calistegia, was going to be released, both of us came to a realization without noticing it. We had arrived at a destination very different and very far from what Yuko had wanted. I see now. Those notes that we found in the dressing room. They were cries for help written by Yuko-san. Yuko-san came to that realization when she wrote the lyrics about morning glories, about Calistegia. She realized that what she most wanted to convey to her audience wasn't possible in her current position. That's why Yuko-san... That's why she was yearning for a bond. And because the song she wrote was about bonds, she changed its lyrics herself. Yuko realized that she had no bonds with anyone. The song that she wrote was no longer about the Yuko Asada that her fans imagined her as. She finally reached a point where she could convey her true feelings, but she lost the words to express them to her fans. That's awful. <laughs> but I realized something then, too. Yuko's wish was never attainable from the beginning. The most diehard fans immediately turned on me. They labeled me a murderer for crushing Yuko's dream. That's horrible. No, it's fine. I am a murderer after all. I killed Yuko, so the label fits. W what the hell? Isn't she acting kind of weird? Oh, <laughs> Mr. Genie do is happy. How wonderful. Now the self that others wish her to be, and the self that she wishes for, are in sync. What? Her bond with everyone is amazing. Here, I'll let you hear it too. Miss Ochimizu is scary as shit. She's like some kind of hard-ass veteran. You'd think she was born to be hated. Her whole way of talking just rubs you the wrong way. That she's good at her job and great looking too just makes it worse. I heard she's making stacks of cash preying on her idols. Then again, those are rumors that how Kanamine's group sell so much. Maybe that's just how you roll when you've got actual skills. It's fun to watch. From a distance, anyway. Those bastards! They don't know shit about anything, so they say whatever they want. Well, have fun. Damn it. Mizuchimizu! Mizuchimizu! Shut up. Shut up! Shut up! Convey how you feel. That's impossible. No one wants that anyway. If 
we had just accepted that at the start, things wouldn't have turned out the way they did for Yuko. Whoa! Well, who is that? The singer's dreams and wishes don't matter at all. To hell with them! Everything will go fine as long as you tweak them to meet the audience's needs! Miss Oshimisu. It's fine. It's fine. From the fools who won't even listen to the ones with nothing to say, I'll control every last one of them. Now I understand why those shadows didn't dare lay a finger on me in this world. Look at me. This is my true self. The me that the fans fear. More than that, this is the me that the fans shadows fear. Tremendous power. This is beyond anything else we've faced here. Damn it! Are they this strong because she's totally accepted the way they see her? Right. Miss Ochimisu has lost sight of the truth. Everyone, stand your ground. We can't lose here for her sake. <laughs> we get you, Senpai. It's up to us now. We're gonna get it through to her that what she wanted wasn't wrong. Now Yuko Chick's wish ain't impossible. Right. Risei, get ready. I know this won't be easy, but I'll keep trying to express our feelings until she understands. We know you can do it, Senpai. Show that Miss Ochimisu what you're made of. Here goes. Bring on the music. Are you ready? Welcome to this white land. 
I'm satisfied with these results. Oh, Senpai, you perfected it. Lead me next time. Did we get through to her? No, no! I won't accept this! I'll never accept it! How stubborn are you? Just accept it already! Shut up! Why didn't it work for you, Go? If you can convey your feelings to others, then why couldn't she? It's impossible to make anyone understand. That's nothing but a goddamn fairy tale! Me, the audience, the songs, the dances, they're all flimsy lies. None of them can mean anything. That's not true. Then why did you go to the trouble of having Konami-san's group learn the song Yuko-san wrote? Isn't it because you wanted everyone to hear her song? Because you wanted them to understand the feelings Yuko-san never got to express? Even if it's just a little bit? I... wanted them to understand? Miss Ochimizu! Miss Ochimizu! Oh, how shameful of me. You just had to stump right into my heart and show off. I had you pegged as barely capable of participating in a school performance. And yet, here you are. <laughs> cutting through to my heart. Oh, then you understand what we were trying to say. Oh, you were just crying. Come on, why'd you have to freak us out like that? Kanji, you don't talk like that to adults! She's right, Kanji. Come you really on, gotta Ochi. think before you, you open your big mouth. About your Glad you're all right, Miss Ochimizu. Come on, you guys, relax. She's okay now, and that's all that matters. Cold sweat. How many years did I waste groveling alone and taking out my pain on all those around me? I thought if people were going to hate me, I'd give them what they wanted. I was the worst, most despicable person I could be. I even went around claiming responsibility for the lyrics Yuko changed. Miss Ochimizu. I was wrong. I need to apologize to you, and to Yuko. There's a lot we have to apologize for as well. No, you don't. You all expressed exactly how you felt. You proved to me that it's possible to convey your feelings to someone else. That alone is enough to release Yuko from her suffering. And me for mine. Mizo Chimizu! Ochi! That's no good, Miss Ochimizu. Don't tell me you've been poisoned by these children, too. You, who denied your true self for years and became the cold woman everyone wanted you to be. Poisoned? Yes, I suppose they have poisoned me. Why don't you deal? If you discard every bit of the you that everyone wished you to be, you'll face the same suffering again. Enough! I revoke my deal with you. I'll make no more compromises. The Kanamine Kitchen Girls, these shadows you speak of, and even you. I will save every last one of you from this place. Uh, isn't it us who will do the actual saving part? Never mind that. Be quiet or she'll hear. Oh, what a disappointment. Do whatever you want, then. It went away again. No. We won't let it escape this time. 
I've already made up my mind about that. For it to use Yuko's song for such vile ends. <sighs> the more I think about it, the angrier I become. Yuko's song? What is she talking about? Wait. Are you saying you hadn't noticed? <sighs> I'm appalled. And you call yourselves professionals. You couldn't even figure that out despite hearing it so often. Uh, no one said we were pros. Whoa, another door! Wow, these things can show up anywhere. Maybe I should start calling them anywhere. Nope. It's not like the other doors we've seen. This one leads to an edit bay. An edit bay? It's something like a booth used for recording and sound editing. This one looks like the door to the room at Takara Productions. Hold on, let me check inside first. Okay, it seems safe. I'm not sensing any shadows in there. Then let's take a look inside. Follow me, everyone. 